Sandman Stories presents The Whole Book by Peter Newell. So this is the story of Tom Potts, a little boy who shoots off a gun that he doesn't know is loaded. Now, if you've read the other Peter Newell book, you'll know that he likes to do concept books, and this one is no different. So, like the last one with the rocket going through page to page, this one is a bullet going through page to page. Okay, let's begin. The Whole Book by Peter Newell Published by Harper and Brothers, 1908 Tom Potts was fooling with a gun, such folly should not be, when BANG the pesky thing went off, most unexpectedly. Tom didn't know twas loaded and, it scared him most to death. He tumbled flat upon the floor, and fairly gasped for breath. The bullet smashed a fine French clock, the clock had just struck three. then made a hole clean through the wall, as you can plainly see. Out in the kitchen, Bridget Quinn was busying about, when through the boiler crashed the shot and let the water out. The floor was flooded like a pond, the room was filled with steam, and Bridget gathered up her skirts and rushed out with a scream. Out in the backyard, Sister Sue, with Sis and Mabel Dunn, was swinging underneath the trees and having lots of fun. When zip, the speeding bullet sang and cut the rope in two, then hurtled through the highboard fence and to the ground came Sue. Just then an automobile passed, its body painted green The bullet struck its side and pierced the tank of gasoline. A loud explosion followed and a tremor shook the air. The passengers were tossed aloft amidst the smoke and glare. An artist in a studio who had a metal one was painting on a laughing boy, which work was all but done. The ball of lead this picture smote as through the room it ranged, and through the canvas board its way, and the expression changed. Old Granny Fink was sound asleep, as sound as one could wish. Beside her, an aquarium was standing stocked with fish. The bullet struck the crystal globe and roused her from her nap, and Granny found that she was drenched with goldfish in her lap. A lady came into a store where animals were sold to buy a parrot with a tongue that wouldn't swear or scold. But as she talked about the bird and asked about the price, the bullet plunged clean through a box and freed a lot of mice. Old Hagen Schmidt behind his house, his new Dutch pipe was trying, when bing, the bullet smashed the bowl and sent the pieces flying. Who put that bombshell in my pipe? exclaimed the startled smoker. If I could get my hands on him, there would be one less joker. A pear tree seen above the wall, with fruit was laden down, and Ned below appeared to be the saddest boy in town. Just then the restless bullet passed and clipped a branching limb which bore a dozen pairs or more, and passed it down to him. G. Fuselman in high silk hat, along the street was trailing, when through the crown the bullet sped, and sent his hat a-sailing. What do you mean, sir, blurted he, to Harvey Jones behind him, by knocking off my high silk hat? But Harvey didn't mind him. Dick Bumble with a bag of grain was going out to grind it, when through the bag the bullet tore and left a hole behind it. 
Dick neither knew the bag was pinked, nor that a hole was in it, and wondered why the load he bore grew lighter every minute. Tim Nickleby had hooked a fish and was about to land it. When snap his fish pole broke in two, he couldn't understand it. Of course the bullet did the trick. It would have been more thrilling if it had punctured Timothy, who was in need of drilling. A restless wildcat had escaped and roamed the gardens free. The keeper, frightened at the sight, had climbed a lofty tree. The savage Brutus spied him there, and with an agile bound, it met a bullet in the air and tumbled to the ground. A vendor of balloons, a chap, in Russia born and bred, came ambling through the dusty street, his wares above his head. Balloons, balloons, who wants to buy? He shrilly cried, I say. Just then his enterprise collapsed. The shot had come that way. A German band was on parade, and all the district knew it. When boom, the bass drum sounded out. The shot had gone clean through it. The leader turned about in ire, and pointing at the drummer, exclaimed, You start too soon, my friend. You make a better plumber. Miss Silverman had built a fire and shoveled on some coal, when through the stovepipe crashed the shot and made a gaping hole. The smoke in murky columns rose. The lady raised a shout. Then on the scene the fireman came and put the lady out. A cat espied a tiny mouse and crouched to make a spring. The mousey couldn't find a place in which to hide, poor thing. Just then the bullet made a hole, a fair-sized hole at that, and in it dashed the frightened mouse, and thus escaped the cat. A thief was waiting in the door, a clever chap was he, for he had waited till the gong had summoned all to tea. But at that moment came the shot, and smote the doorbell clear. The butler reached the door in time to see him disappear. Old Sandy on his highland pipes was drooning Robin Hood and coaxing from the boys and girls such pennies as he could. When suddenly the bag went squash, the drum became a sigh. The fleeing shot had pierced the bag of wind in passing by. For some excitement, good and hot, these lads were fairly spoiling. When through the beehive plunked the shot and set the pot a-boiling, the startled swarm came streaming out in temper hot and baneful and drove the foe in awful rout with volleys sharp and painful. When Felix Fenno flew his kite, he found his hands were full. It seemed determined to escape, so strongly did it pull. But presently the whizzing shot, the kite string neatly parted, and like an airship on a cruise, his precious kite departed. The grocer boy was teasing Snip by pelting him with rice, and keeping just beyond his reach, which wasn't very nice. Just then the bullet clipped the chain that held the pup and joy, he fairly sprinted through the air and nab that grocer boy. <coughs> Miss Newlywed had made a cake with icings good and stout. The bullet struck its armor belt and meekly flattened out. And this was lucky for Tom Potts, the boy who fired the shot. It might have gone clean round the world and killed him on the spot. The end. Mm -hmm.